Chris, with DeGrom gone, would you say that making Scherzer the opening day starter was a no-doubt decision for Buck Walter? I thought so. It's pretty much what I expected. No disrespect to Justin Farlander, but Scherzer's the holdover from last year, of course. He's familiar with the Mets now, a season in. So I think, you know, when you look at the two guys, the two horses at the top of this rotation, Verlander, the reigning AL Cy Young Award winner, new team, new league, and the little uh, consolation prizes, he's lined up to start the home opener. So I think you show the respect to Scherzer in year two, knowing that Verlander is ready to go right behind Yeah, him. I think the way you just ended that is exactly my thought process because there was a, a split second there where I thought with Verlander coming in, it's like, like you said, AL reigning Cy Young. Could he be the opening day starter? But now with Scherzer a year under his belt in New York and just the leader of this team, one of the leaders of this team, that it just kind of makes sense with where this team's at. So, CeeLo, the last few seasons, Max has started off stronger at the beginning of the year than he's finished it. If you are the Mets, how much are you trying to keep him fresh and manage his workload throughout the year because of that? Yeah, I think it's something you're always monitoring, especially with these pitchers as they get later on in their careers. Yes, they're creatures of habit, and they have a pretty good idea, a pretty good feel for where they're most comfortable. But, you know, that hasn't even always been what's worked necessarily for Max. I look at last year where second half of the year he had a second stint on the IL. September they kind of worked him back slowly. His pitch count was in the 60s up until his last start in the regular season. That didn't necessarily help him in the wild card round against the Padres. So yes, of course you want the guys fresh, but I don't think there's an exact formula in terms of innings, workload, pitch counts that necessarily works. So I think they got to kind of take it on a case-by-case -case basis and see how he feels as the season goes along. Well, it's funny because as you're talking about it, I'm thinking how that's kind of how Verlander's end of the season went right. too, right? And these are two guys that you're going to need healthy at the end of the season, especially in the postseason. You need your stars. You need them to step up. So that's where the communication comes in. You even heard Scherzer say right there when he was talking about his latest start in spring training, it's like a dress rehearsal. So that's that build-up period because I know people look at the innings and the pitches, but that's kind of where he needs to be at as that opening day starter. And then from there, that's where then the communication comes in. Him and Showalter just talking about where he's at, just being honest with that, which it at this point in his career, he very much is, knows who he is as a pitcher, but also wanting to go out there, take that ball every fifth day, because I think Verlander and Scherzer, they're in a good position because they're going to push each other in a good way. They're both going to kind of keep each other accountable and both want to go out there and do the best that they can for each other and their team.